On the 10th of April, our church celebrates the feast day of St. Gregory of Constantinople. The following are some details of his life and works. High on the honour roll of patriarchs is the noble Gregory, who was born in 1745. He was the son of John and Asimina, a family who preferred the bleak hill country, which held no attraction for the oppressive Turks, at least not in any great numbers. A brilliant scholar, he excelled in whatever studies the local school offered, and went on to secondary education in Athens, Smyrna and Patmos, after which he became a monk, adopting the name of Gregory. His excellent service record came to the attention of Metropolitan Procopius of Smyrna, who called him to his see and appointed him Chancellor of the Archdiocese of the area. When Procopius was elevated to the supreme post of Patriarch, Gregory succeeded him as Metropolitan in the Diocese of Smyrna. He assumed this role in 1785 and four short years later was called to Constantinople and made Ecumenical Patriarch. The next several years were turbulent ones because of Gregory's resistance to Turkish oppression. Gregory grew weary of this strife and retired to Mount Athos in 1798 where he refreshed his spirit but in 1806 he was recalled to reassume the duties of Patriarch. He returned to be once again caught up in the deadly tug of war which continued to plague him and the members of his synod. Again he retired to Mount Athos after two years of constant weariness and once more was recalled some ten years later in 1818 to shore up the defences of Christianity against Islam. The beleaguered patriarchate continued for another three years to stave off the menace of the Turks but in that fateful year of 1821 On the 25th of March to be exact, a call to arms and declaration of independence was sounded in distant Patras, a proclamation for freedom which proved to be the death knell for Gregory of Constantinople. The news of the Greek insurgents stunned the Turks and so enraged them that they devised the most horrible retaliation possible. A group of homicidal Turks, recruited from among the most dangerous of their many packs, swooped down on the hapless keepers of the Vicarage of Christ and seized from among them the Holy Patriarch, the supreme symbol of Christianity and of the glory of Greece. This man of God was snatched from his chambers by a frenzied posse of of cutthroats who dragged him to the great entrance gate and on that spot hanged him. Not content with this, the body of the great Patriarch was dragged through the streets by these scourges of God and he was cast into the sea. Sailors recovered the body of the martyred Gregory, and and in a scene reminiscent of Calvary, he was laid to rest in Odessa within the key cathedral of the Annunciation in in Athens, there to lie in honoured glory. Of the three gates of the Patriarchate, the centre gate that was the site of this infamous tragedy was closed and remains closed to this day, never to be reopened again. The memory of Gregory is commemorated on the 10th of April, the day of this brutal assassination.